two on the Radio Wemo Breakfast. Oh, from the wild, wild west, man. Greetings. And I cooked you up this banging track. How we are today? Let me see if you can spit some too. Ready to get some fur on? Come on. Ladies, because here just off the plane, ready to take away all your pain. We're gonna cook a dish made to savor. Come out your spice, don't matter the flavor. Where's my lady sat tonight? Where my baby sat tonight? Where's my sunshine? Well, you might well ask, why are we hearing the Rico rap again? Um, I'm certainly going to about ask, ask that question of uh, Vaughan Davis right now from tgf.co.nz for ad social media and aeroplanes. Yes, why are we hearing the Rico rap? Because it's time to look back on the Air New Zealand campaign over the last few years. It's just moved house. Uh, you remember, regular listeners, that the Air New Zealand business was up for pitch before Christmas. Indeed. Uh, it had moved a couple of years earlier from one of the big shops, Colenso, to its retail offshoot in '99. And was put up for pitch and uh, departed 99 and is about to take up residence down at an agency called FCB. So uh, Rico was already dead. That was one of the uh, the last tasks the incumbent agency were given was to kill their own creation, which would have been a bit uh, uncomfortable. Uh, but interesting to see what's going to come next because they're now in the place that uh, brought out the um, the mental health diary stuff with um, JK and yep. the, um, the Mitre 10 Sandpit ads. Oh, yeah, the, uh, pretty good. Genesis Pukekos yep. and a bunch of other stuff. So, you know, going from one really good agency to another really good agency and interesting to see what's going to happen. Do you think the Rico rap inspired the Mega Upload song? The I, 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 I think there can be no doubt. <laughs> there can be no doubt at all. But uh, it, it would appear that uh, Kim.com has a bit more in his war chest than, uh, than Rob Fife, perhaps, because he got a few more uh, celebrities to appear on his. Certainly, did not it? 12.7 million views of oh, for the Kim, for the the Kim. Kim. Com link. song. There's another link. And there's another one. There's another, well, there's another connection. The, uh, the leg- one of the pieces of legislation that Kim.com has been uh, indicted under is called RICO. Is it? It's called RICO. Yeah, well, I, 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 lo- I love the way <laughs> Americans, they've got, to, they've got to give their, their, acts, you know, their, their laws snappy names. Yeah. Otherwise, we've got them them. on the RICO law. We've got them on the SOPA. We've got them on the RICO. <laughs> we've got them on the PIPA. Uh, RICO <laughs> is the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, which okay. is, it doesn't really fly off the tongue, but RICO yeah. does. Mm. Sounds like a broad definition, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. It is a broad <laughs> definition. It basically means if, I think if you connect, uh, commit any of about 30-odd crimes uh, twice in a 10-year period, they can get you under RICO. Right. Indeed. You're a racketeer. Uh, on to some more advertising. I liked this. This is the BK Shop ad. Let me tell you just how small. Well, they're smaller than a department store, but bigger than a cat's paw. Whatever. They're smaller than a speed walker. You Whatever. might have heard this one on the um, on the telly screens at the moment. Yes, advertising their very small burgers. Yeah, BK shots. Um, I mean, it's it's very much a one off. And you know, there's one school of retail advertising that said, you know, you want to create a strong black brand platform and be consistent throughout. And uh, BK was doing that for a while with the King, but of course, the King got killed in uh, the United States. So I guess he just quietly disappeared over here as well. Was there a change of agency at all? Oh, I don't believe there was, no. They just, mm. um, you know, uh, decided that it was, uh, you know, too, too, too cool for school. It was, uh, it, was, uh, it was very, very popular with the hip crowd, but maybe didn't have the mass appeal to uh, the, sell dead cow. They are carrying on with a, a certain style, eh? a certain smooth kind of Yeah, there is a certain funky smooth style. Kind of... What's the, oh, mental blank, what's the, uh, the sort of iconic black actor whose voiceover you always recognise? Oh, um, Sam, Sam, no, 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 no. So you got it as well. Oh, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a meme going around the internet at the moment with a picture of the guy saying, you know, if, if it's if it's uh, if you see my picture, you can hear my voice when yeah. I'm talking. Oh no! But didn't that's been radio, isn't it? Didn't Pump go and do something similar? Yeah, as well? Um, well, Pump did some something more sort of '70s shaft, you know, funk yeah. and, 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 and inspired. Um, the the thing I like about this is it's a, it's more than a nod. It's a it's a bow down and, and lick the carpet to float of the Concords. You know, there's a bit right. late on the ad that says, you know, it's bigger than a mouse. Dependent on the mouse. Yeah. Whereas yeah. just a straight, you know, it's, if you remember that Flight of the Concord song, the, uh, was it the second most beautiful girl in the room? Dependent on the room. Yeah. Well, it could certainly be almost an Oscar winning uh, formula. An Oscar Oscar winning right? song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, good good luck to Brett for the, uh, for the uh, Am I Muppets. Man or Am I a Muppet? I don't mm. think it's a great song. Mm. The video's yeah. great. Too. Very funny. Very yeah. cool. Okay, that was BK. Um, more, move, more moves in advertising. Oh, more, more yeah, moves, yeah, people moves. We talked um, last week, I think, about planners, whatever they are. So a planner is basically like a super account director, not the guy who or the guy or girl who does the um, 
creative thinking or does the ads, but the people, who, the p- person who does the strategic thinking behind everything. The and smoking person, the smoking the, man. The, 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 the smoking <laughs> man, yeah, yeah, in, in, um, in X Files. Yeah. It's, it's him. It's not the one that pulls all the strings. Yeah, um, and perhaps the the Uber planner in the uh, in, in a small package, a guy called James Herman at um, Colenso, who did the BK shots ad. Uh, and very high profile guys, there's won a lot of business for them, uh, is off to Shanghai. So he's been Shanghai'd, as right. the phrase would have it. He's okay. off, to, off to a competitor agency in Shanghai. Wow. So quite a big move. To, to quite a big move. Advertising in English or Chinese? I'm guessing, I'm guessing in English. Um, okay. I'm not sure he's, he's a Chinese speaker. So. Right. Well, he's a clever man. He yeah. might might learn it on the plane. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> on to some um, social media activity, a photo that's been doing the rounds on Facebook. Yeah, I like it. I like it when meme becomes meat. And uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, hunt down Nick Minute Steak. Oh yeah, um, a minute steak. As far as I, <laughs> it's a beef neck minute steak. Yeah, it's a beef. It's a beef neck minute. As far as I can make out, a minute steak. I think it's just a really thin steak. It doesn't yeah. take very long to cook. It's t- t- yeah, but some it. some clever clogs at New World thought it'd be a, a great idea to do some uh, some creative labelling. Cost them nothing, and uh, out of the year, I've called it. Oh, you you reckon? You reckon no. it's not just a dude out the back who's just having? Oh yeah, I think fun? I think it is. A dude okay, out right, absolutely. But absolutely. you reckon it's working for New World? Oh, it's very funny. <laughs> I've. I've what, what, what other communication from New World have people been talking about in the last week? I think it's very cool. And incidentally, in, in looking this up, I, I didn't know this, but Nick Minute actually hit the number two spot worldwide for um, YouTube views last year. So, well done. Wow. I <laughs> know. Aren't we proud? Crikey. Go New Zealand. Is it just the one video or across? No, it'll just, 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 just be the thing. one clip because the, 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 there'd be no way they could aggregate all the uh, yeah. all the trippy ones because they just come from anywhere. I think in those stats, I, I heard that they leave out all the Vivo stuff, which is all the oh, music video. All the licensed stuff. All the licensed oh. music video stuff. So this is just actually you know uh, genuinely viral. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And also interesting, uh, if we're going to stay with social media, there is a possi- possibility that Facebook might steal that Vivo business away from YouTube. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. There's one thing, Facebook's not particularly strong on in, in the curation of videos. I mean, no. videos appear there, but the, the, they don't have a, a home, mm. really. Mm. So that's a rumour at this stage. But that's that, true. It's true enough to believe. would be a bit of a blow to, to yeah, YouTube yeah. in some respects, because there's YouTube. a bit of ad, ad revenue sharing thing yeah, going yeah. on there. <laughs> yeah. Um, now on to aeroplanes. Aeroplanes, big weekend for aeroplanes coming up. Aeroplane fans, especially if you are in Tauranga, the uh, the skies of the bay will uh, echo not to the sound of helicopters removing milk powder from the beaches, but jets. Oh yes, oh, jets. Sorry, sound of a jury. You have sound of a jury. No one can accuse it of being mighty, but it's certainly lovely. That's the dear old Strike Master, which I had the pleasure of flying for uh, four or five months in the Air Force way back. Uh, one of those will be. Be- they were a trainer. Be yeah, they're a trainer. They were um, yeah designed from the outset as a jet trainer. They're a lovely thing. They were like a Morris Oxford, if you remember that, uh, with wings and <laughs> and a quite quite a, a poor um, low powered jet engine. I, I went, very nice to fly. I went to see a display at um, Ardmore a few months back, and mm. Strike Master was one of them that they were going to be flying, but apparently they couldn't get it started or something. So they wheeled wheeled it out in front of everyone and. That's the next best yeah. thing. Well, I'm hoping I'm hoping it will take to the air because I'm I'm flying my wee plane down to uh, down to Tauranga on Saturday, hoping to catch that. The Hawker Hunter as well appearing, which is a beautiful aeroplane. Which is I've never fastest, seen one fly. So um, fastest thing we have in New Zealand. It would Apparently, so that's impressive. Uh, that that'll be good to see, and a bunch of others. There's a Vampire, which is a beautiful, beautiful 1950s jet. There's mm. a L39, which is a uh, Czechoslovakian, very sexy little trainer. Uh, and, and all sorts of other things, so I'm looking forward to seeing all and, those. But no flying Skyhawks. We need to get one of these going so that they can at least be part of these displays around the country. Yeah, we do. We do. Maybe we do. I don't know. It's um, It takes a lot of infrastructure. To... I mean, it's a lot of infra- infrastructure for this Hawker Hunter, surely. Yeah, we're probably a couple, you know, a couple of generations simpler. Um, a, lot, a lot of work to keep a thing like a Skyhawk flying safely. And, you know, you need, you need to fly these things very regularly to be, you know to remain safe and proficient uh, same goes with any airplane but more so yeah. with a really high performance jet um, 
you know, if you've got a Stripe Master and you're only flying it, you know, once a month, but once the, every six the weeks. The inside word from Motat, the Skyhawk down at Motat, the yep. inside word was, yeah, all you really need to do is just add a couple of things and chuck in some fuel and that thing would be oh, yeah, off down yeah, Miller Road. I, I don't doubt it. But, the, but then, you know, the, the moment, uh, uh, you know, a hydraulic pump fails, then, or whatever, oh, yeah. where are you going to get a Skyhawk hydraulic pump? Or, you know, and, and that's, yeah, that's why the, these things cost a lot to operate. Because you'd hope the ejector seat worked as well. You would hope the ejector, yeah, for example. All those things, you know. There's, yeah. an, there's an entire there was an entire division in uh, at Ohakia back when there were airplanes with ejector seats just to look after the ejector seats, right? Yeah. So yeah. you know, if I bought, sure I can buy a Skyhawk for a million dollars, but then comes all the other stuff. You Indeed. know, they, um, the saying with airplanes is the least expensive thing you'll put into them is fuel. And um, uh, yeah, it seems that every other week that we do the airplane feature, there's, there's a crash. The, the crash that we're to talk yeah. about. Yeah, you know? I mean these these guys will be appearing at Tauranga, um, the Yak Fifty Two display team. I'm not sure if the one that crashed in Fielding a couple of days ago was part of the team or not, but it's certainly this, the, basically the same sort of aeroplane. Mm. The Yak-52 is pretty much the Russian equivalent to the Harvard, if you're familiar with the Harvard trainer, which we, we there's about 10 or 12 of them flying in New Zealand now, and probably more, more Yaks than that. Um, Two-seater, aerobatic, uh, quite powerful, about 360 horsepower. Uh, ex-military, w- which people kind of like, and pretty affordable. You know, you can pick one of these up for the price of, uh, you know, uh, your yeah, yeah, average entry-level new Porsche. Yeah. You can you can have a Yak 52, which is which is pretty nice. And you can um, you can fly one, and, and you can fly and you can fly one into the well, ground. Well, I'm saying I've flown one. Oh, have you? Uh, have the, you? The, the Sturmovic game, Sturmovic, little Sturmovic. Oh, you, you mean online? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well done, you. Aren't yeah. you brave? Um, yeah, but no, <laughs> sadly and tragically, one uh, crashed quite violently into a uh, mm. playground and fielding, so it'll be interesting to see what happened there. And it was reported, and, and the whole reporting around the thing was pretty bad. I was looking at a lot of the online sites, and they were saying, you know, Yak-52 or aeroplane crashes in, in fielding. And I think it was um, one of the TV station websites just put up a random picture of an aeroplane, completely different aeroplane. Really? Not even, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah a, it was a military four-bladed military turboprop trainer. It's it's like saying you know um, radio host uh, you know crashes car and they put up a photo of some other DJ not you yeah. it's just it's just odd and it's sloppy and it's lazy it's part of the the wider um, stock photography evil that's sort of uh, creeping into you know, most of our online media and a lot of our print media at the moment but yeah the Act fifty two uh, interesting to see what the real story was behind that because it was sort of high speed um, steep crash and according to witnesses it was trailing smoke as it landed but who mm. really knows. All right. Well, you can find this chat as a video once more up at tgf.co.nz. That's Vaughan Davis's home. Also on Twitter as well, twitter.com forward slash Vaughan Davis. Thanks very much.